Welcome everybody to this episode of the Waiting in Queue podcast. I'm your host, Funny Spartan, and with me today, it's going to be a huge surprise. This is going to be an absolute freaking shock to you, but my co-host today is Connor. Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Next week, I think we're planning on Mitchell coming on. Yep, everybody's least favorite uh, guest. Mm -hmm. Excited Uh, about that. We have a little thing, which we got to figure out what we're going to be using for punishments. But we got got a little thing going. Yeah, I've got a a side thing of my my own when this happens. A side thing? Yeah, it's going to be its own little prank no live spankings Derek no that's okay I gotta rewrite what I'm gonna do now yeah <laughs> um we need to figure out the food though uh what's that uh what's that Australian sir uh, molasses we should get those fish oh god I was thinking like molasses and wasabi <laughs> oh we could do wasabi too Oh, they have tubes of it. Wasabi. Let's think of it. Wasabi. Mayonnaise is always a good thing, but you got to mix the mayonnaise with something. You got to put the mayonnaise on something. Yeah, plain mayonnaise is. So what we're talking about is we're having Mitchell do this uh, challenge for us where he's got to try and make us laugh with TikToks. Mm-hmm. And if he doesn't make us laugh. It's a laugh you lose it's, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Mitchell's Mitchell has to bring in... Five TikToks. I thought it was seven. It's his... five TikToks, and he's got se- two saving graces. So that means if we get through the five, he can play the two. Okay. And we're also adding rules like uh, he gets to play the video again. Like he gets, on one of he them. He gets one replay through the five. Okay. And we he also gets a rule where we do the straight face or whatever what was it called what were you calling it like hypersensitive hypersensitive so which means we, that we have to be absolutely still and can't show any facial mm-hmm. emotion at all which is going to be literally impossible yeah so he so, might want to use that on a video that's not as funny yeah like maybe the weakest and he one. has to say it prior to the video starting he yeah, can't, he can't, be, can't be like, like duh, 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 duh. so that's the challenge we're gonna see if he can come in next weekend it may vary because i think it's father's day yeah we could just be putting up a uh saved episode yeah if we don't come in right i mean there will still be an episode i'm just saying mitchell might not be on it um and then um yeah but we gotta so wasabi's a good one yeah big with not like a little piece you gotta get some wasabi yeah okay? you gotta it's gotta be bad uh yeah, but I feel like Mitchell's going to get away with not having to do anything. Should we also... Mitchell's hard to make laugh, though. Oh, well, here's Mitchell's the, here's the other rule. What if, like, you burst out laughing? Do I also have to eat? No. So it should, it'll just be you. So, yeah. But Mitchell will only have to eat if he doesn't make both of us laugh. Yeah. That's kind of what oh. I was thinking. That's why I'm like, it's going to be... Maybe we take some of those rules away that we were talking about. <laughs> I think we should take away the... The dude not being able to smile. Yeah, that'd be hard. Look at me now. (laughs) (laughs) I'm smiling just looking at you. We'll see. God damn it. We'll see when we get there. (laughs) Thank you. And uh, I'm excited though. Yeah, wasabi mayonnaise on something. What's the other one you thought of? We should get a we should get a can of sardines. You gotta eat a fucking sardine. Oh my god. <laughs> it's gotta be awful. Yeah, it is gonna mm-hmm. have to be awful. And I think that alone might make me want to just. Fuck. I'm, I, I can't well, even hold a straight have, face now. Okay, five, five videos or seven videos, seven different dishes. Oh, and okay. Katie, we'll probably have he... to have you be somewhat of a judge. Like, if like if we're arguing with Yeah, Mitchell, you're gonna like, have to watch. Like, and then, yeah. Because like I, the... I know for a fact if Mitchell hears. <laughs> He'll be like, this, 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 <laughs> which doesn't, in my mind, a go doesn't count. Am I allowed to laugh? Because uh, I laugh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. But we uh, have, that, well, that's going to make it worse. Because we'll when like you seven... hear somebody laugh, that does <laughs> yeah. not help. We'll have like seven different dishes or five different dishes. We'll do five. And the saving grace is he can then choose whatever. And we put them at levels. <laughs> so we got we to gotta tell him to have his least funniest video first to the funniest video. And mm-hmm. the last one's the sardines. 
So we have we have mayonnaise on something. I'm gonna eat some tums before I eat any of it. Oh, you, <laughs> we're gonna need tums. <laughs> we'll, we'll have to have tums. Um, and we'll have five different things, and then for each level, that's the dish. It'll be like right here. I have to set up one of the cameras just to have like pointing de- straight down on them. The food, yeah, yeah. We could record it with our phone real quick and just show the people like, and then just. Oh, Post. also could be something fun for Katie to cut too. You know, when we're like oh, I, Mitchell's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. Just, yeah, we'll just take one of the cameras and just. Yeah, we'll I figure mean, you it out. Do the one that's up by that's the, the plan. That's what we want to do. We want to do more shit like that. So now that Mitchell's here in town, we're gonna pretty much he's, just. He's been here in town for a while, and we've just <laughs> not done any of this. Well, yeah, but we've been pretty busy lately. I mean, fuck, most of the episodes that we've been posting. Backups. Backups. Yeah. Episodes. Yeah. So. Um, pretty rough year for us, I guess. It's it's the summer. Mm-hmm. It's the summer. This is the time where like people are doing shit, and you got stuff going on. You go on vacations. What else do we do? We uh, we have weddings. And we got a wedding. Um, what else we got? What else have we done? Just holidays. Yeah. Anyways, so Yeah. Derek uh found a trailer to a video game. Uh, yes. Uh very excited about that this. That looks one. pretty dope. Yeah. So we were gonna talk about that for a little bit. Did is that all that they've announced and shown? Uh I just saw the trailer and I haven't looked too much into it June 10th so it's not like it's not super old Mm -hmm. so I I just muted the audio because I don't know if we're gonna get copyright (sighs) struck on it copyright struck but uh, this is Lord of the Rings Return to Moria and you play as um, dwarves. dwarves going back to the mines, and mm-hmm. it's basically Lord of the Rings, but mixed in with a little bit of Minecraft. Yeah, it looks sick, and it's not like it just looks sick. And honestly, look at that! Oh look gosh. how cool that looks! Oh and you can craft your own gear and Explore stuff. Explore with friends. Okay, this is something I'm gonna play a shit ton of. Oh yeah, oh, this dude. looks like so much fun. Look, look at that! Look at that baseball! Oh my god, we will. He's like. Like this weapon, is like your weapon oh. and gear crafting. Did you see that the stage of the armor? Yeah, yeah. They hit the thing. Oh, and there's goblins there. Yeah, I I'm pretty excited. I think the combat's gonna be fun. Mm-hmm. I think this whole thing, that whole thing, is just gonna be awesome. Yeah. Speak, friend, and enter. Spring, Spring 2023. 2023. I'm excited. Next year. Uh, look at Epic Game Store. Oh, if it's Epic, I will say one thing. We might get season passes, and I'll be real with you. See, I didn't see any uh, platforms, any other platforms other than Epic Game Store. Yeah, but Epic also makes games on consoles. Console. Most most of their games are crossplay. Oh, I'll look it up right now. Uh, what they own, they own Dauntless, uh, which is also a really fucking cool game. If you like, uh, if you like, what's that game? Monster Hunter World? Yes. If you like Monster Hunter, but you don't want to put the time in a Monster Hunter, Dauntless is perfect for you. I've definitely played it before. It's not bad. Dauntless? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I played it a lot for a while. It's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. I it's like gotten... the uh, two weapons, like the chain thing. Yeah. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, Lord of the Rings Return to Moria will be available exclusively on PC. Ooh. My dreams have been crushed. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, Katie, it looks like you're gonna have to play it with us. I mean, I was already playing it on it, but okay. Oh yeah, I'm still playing it. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll play for it. sure. That's like that's what I want. We really gotta get these. We really gotta get Mitchell to get a computer, man. Oh, but he's too busy worrying about buying buying skateboards house and skateboards. <laughs> he already bought the house though, so 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 Mitchell can justify. Two hundred dollars, a two hundred dollars skateboard, but then like Not he, he's a like three hundred dollar computer. Yeah, a three hundred dollar computer to play with his pals. 
his friends. Like, yeah, but I could resell that. That's that's art. It is art. It is art. It's awesome. And he can resell it for a lot of money right now. But but is he going to? Maybe. Maybe that's his whole plan. And then he uses that money to buy a PC. For the multi-purpose room. For the multi-purpose How about we make a deal with him? If we win, he has to get a computer. All right. So my plan then is to sleep deprive myself. So then I'm just too tired to even laugh. Yeah, but if you fall asleep during it too, you also have you have to eat all of it mixed together, in a blender. I think I'll, I think I can stay awake. I just am like, oh, snooze fast. Come on. Anyways, the, the mind of Moria thing though, I haven't seen much. But man, now just what they showed looks sick. Yeah, yeah that, it does. That looks like a game I'd be very interested. In. I love uh, dwarf. Uh, like gear and stuff like that. Like if I ever played like RTS like uh games where you can be a dwarf, I was usually always playing the dwarves because I always love seeing the dwarven armies, you know, line up and they're yeah, it's sick, dude. I just you know, it's probably gonna be one of those games that comes out and then it's gonna be like fucking is it? Wow, where's, yeah. the, where's the content? Not surprised, but, but I base- think, see, but a game like that where the content is like, oh, you're just building. It's what? like that's that's. It's that's good a, content. That's good content. What's it? it what's it called? What's the game called? So I can look Lord, it up. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Return to Moria. There it is. It's like already being searched. It's shit done. Um. Survival crafting game. Didn't I literally just get done saying, like a week ago, last Sunday. I think we went to go look at D and D stuff, and I said, "Man, isn't it crazy that like the new shift in game is nothing but survival horror games or survival crafting games?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here comes another one. This one looks sick as shit, but you know, I'm ready. I'm ready for some fucking. Where's the RPGs, man? You know what we should play? Where's the fucking RPGs, bro? This is the best games around. You know what we should play together? Uh, what? Star Citizen? <laughs> Star Citizen? I've been saying that for years. No, no, no. If we ever did, like, let's play again. What if we played, like, uh, Lord of the Rings Return uh, Return of the King? Ooh, that'd be a banger. That is, uh, that was a solid That's game. That's a banger game. Yeah, that game was fun. Uh-uh. Speaking of it, it's right here. Dang, dude. Just looking at photos of it, you're like, whoa. Those graphics suck. Yeah, but they were awesome back then. Yeah, it was a fun. We game. were like, "Whoa!" I like watching the movie. Lord of the Rings: Total War Two was really fun. Uh, yes, I loved. It. Well, no, no, that was Battle for Middle Earth. Huh? Is that what it was called? It wasn't a Total War game. No, though? Total War never made a mm. game. Everyone, Whatever it was, it was everyone, fucking everyone wants awesome. them to make a fucking Lord of the Rings: Total War. Fucking people are modding the game to make it Lord of the Rings. Yeah, they make killer. Killer, killer strategy games. I think, uh, yeah, you just don't see a lot of Lord of the Rings games that are good because, well, that's not true. You don't see a lot of Lord of the Rings games. But, however, most of the games that do come out that are Lord of the Rings are actually pretty good. Uh, Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. That game was fucking both, awesome. Both of them. Yeah. Both of them were awesome. I was scared for the second one. I was like, there's no way this is going to be It was Bell so Rock much was coming better. back or, oh. Huh? I thought you were scared because Bellrock was coming back. No. I want him to come back. And then the one game, though, that I will say that will probably defeat that is the stupid Smeagol game they're making, the Gollum game. That game looks like shit. I'm saying it right now. You know what game I'm talking about? Yes. Have you seen I, it? It's not, yeah. No, it, I haven't. It's, oh it's weird because... It's so cartoony. I, it's cartoony, but then you got to think about the audience of like what the Lord of the Rings... People are. People want to see. I, wanna see I mean, dark. I dark. I, I want to see dark. I want to see grimy. I want to see combat. Combat. Yeah, but I I get why you don't see a lot of combat in that game. Yeah, but the motherfuckers trying to avoid combat, but it just doesn't look. Yeah, but people. It looks lo- like an old tack game. But people love Lord of the Rings for the fact of uh, they're going on this adventure and the, and then it is like a D and D you know run where well, they yeah. you have to you know, I get I get that but I mean like they can make a Lord of the Rings game I would play a game 
a Lord of the Rings game where all I do is stay in the Shire and live a life of a hobbit and do nothing but farm. Should we make a metaverse like uh, section? See in the metaverse. What do you mean? Like we buy our own plot of land and when then we turn it into the Shire. Oh, and... that'd be sick, dude. No, but seriously, I would like play like a tro- like a you know that game like Trove Trove mm-hmm. Trove, isn't it just like a farming game? I think so. I don't know, but like imagine that third person. Uh, you're a hobbit, mm-hmm. and the whole game, you just live in the Shire. And, you know, sometimes things attack like dragons. Oh, but it turns out to just be a firework. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, you're drunk. Mm-hmm. You're like, that's all you do. Like, you drink, and then, like, you have to keep... Oh, they keep, smoke a lot of weed, too. Right, you have to keep up with your plots and your land, and then... It's just like a yeah, a farming situ- no, simulator. No, yeah, 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 it's yeah. a farming simulator, but you're in the Shire, shire and the conflict mm-hmm. of the game is, like, your neighbors are just assholes, and you have to deal with, like... Complaining neighbors, and then complaining the neighbors. neighbors that get into your crop. But and... yeah, but then you like go to your crops one time, and there's a rabbit infestation. That's mm-hmm. your conf- conflict. So now you yeah. have to figure out how how do I keep the rabbits out of my farm? I would play the shit out of that, dude. No, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it, doesn't it? And then like you can you can venture out in the woods a little bit. Well, but you know there's dangers out there. Mm, but the only yeah. dangers you're running into are like wolves. And bear. Yeah, it's not too crazy. Right, you're just going but out it's like crazy a little for stick. Hobbits. But it's crazy for hobbits. And then, what if you could actually go to the Prancing Pony, like that? Because that town's technically just on the other side of the, on the other side of the big river. So if like you could go that far and go yeah, to like and they, the little town, yeah, and, and they, buy supplies. The Prancing Pony people, they know of hobbits. I mean, right. they, they it's visit right there, there. Yeah. It's right by the shark. So you can go to this, you can go to the town too and buy stuff, and then you gotta can go you back. Get, like, but you're like, man, I, I don't want to be out at night. The wolves will get me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you got to get back to the town before. And It'd then be fun weather. to have like home customization for your hobbit hole. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Dude. Yeah. That would be sick. It would be so much fun. You're like, I got to make sure I have all my cheese rolls. Mm-hmm. You have to you have to eat a bunch. You got to eat all your beer dinners. And smoke. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? What if like the end, like the... The stuff you're growing the crops for and all that stuff, it's always for these big, like, parties. Like, those are the main events, like, you're building yes. up for. Yeah. And then you kind of have to... You have, like, you a have quota. To make sure you, you have, like, a quota. You have the you quota that, that you're going to make. Yeah. So and then, many of these bread rolls. But then once the party happens, you don't have to really worry about, like, serving the food or anything. You're just there to, like, yeah, you be go, part of the like party. You enjoy the party, yeah. and the party's, like, all night. It's, like, a nightly event. And then... You wake up the next morning, you got a couple days off, and you can go explore and get, get gain some supplies, and then boom, the next fucking birthday thing comes through your little mailbox. And you're like, looks like I got to make 300 cheese rolls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I got to make 60 fireworks. I got to set up the tent today. Yeah. The big old party tent. I got to go make sure the chairs are set. You're like one of the. You're like the party dude in, mm-hmm. in the Shire. Yeah, uh, make sure uh, Mary and Pippin are doing the dishes. Yeah, they could, mm-hmm. dude. They could have, like, you could have cameos where like Gandalf comes in every once in a while. And you buy the dragon uh, rockets from him. Yeah, you buy the. Yeah, bro. We just made a game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. Let me know when we get the license for making a Lord of the Rings game. Huh. Yeah, but isn't the license pretty much open for anybody to make Lord of the Rings games? I don't uh, think it's I don't, know. I don't think it's tied down to anybody. It's like Star Wars now. Star Wars used to be tied down, but now anybody can the license is like what? I, go at it. I don't know. Um We should be writing this shit down, dude. Yeah, that's we that sounds like a dope ass game. I play the shit out of that. Mm-hmm. Boring. It'd be like Minecraft, but like who like doesn't Minecraft's like Minecraft? Board. Yeah, it's like, I love mm-hmm. Minecraft. Yeah, it would be like one of those games where you just get in with your... We make a multiplayer, so like everybody has their own little hobba hole. You can have up to four players in a... In a... Game. In a game. Yeah. yeah. And... You yeah. each take over a section of the town, or like the farming village town. Yeah, farm. you have like a little up uprising part of uh, the Shire, and you can see over the Shire. It's beautiful, and it's, it's awesome. It's peaceful, mm-hmm. and everybody's just smoking, drinking, and having a fuck grand old time. Mm-hmm. I just wish that was real life. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, simple, that simple life. is the coolest 
that is my biggest fantasy, dude, is just to live in the Shire with the I would hobbits. totally live in a hobbit hole. Those things are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're awesome. Oh, man. Every time we're like out we should, in the woods, we though, go that's to, all I think about. We should like, go to New Zealand. I would love to. I, there, I would never not say no to that. We would you go? go would, you, would you go right now? Let's go. I'll drop everything. I'll sell everything I got. I won't well, come not, back. But yeah, I wasn't thinking to live let's there. Let's see. Let's let's see. This is a pretty much as a Lord of the Rings episode. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ticket round trip ticket to New Zealand. It's probably cheaper than what we think for the ticket. You know what I mean? Yeah, New Zealand's trying to get people to come and live there. They're like, our population is dwindling. Well, it's pretty. It's pretty tiny. Let's see. Um. No, I don't want any. Okay, from. Where? What's the? Where's the Shire at? Do we know where that is? Um, somewhere in Middle Earth. Yeah, but where? Do we know where in New Zealand that's at? I don't think New Zealand's in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> New Zealand is Lord of the Rings. Isn't that where they shot like 95% of the film? Uh, Yeah, I think so. Um, Okay, well, let's just say we're going to Wellington. What do we got? Wait, is that even New Zealand? Hang on. So I'm just looking at prices here. The average price for a round trip, it looks like it's it's like four grand. Oh it's more gosh. than I thought. That's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. But man, that seems really high. Don't you think? That does seem really high, yeah. but you are going across the ocean. Well it's like a oh, here we go. It's probably gonna be like a six to eight hour flight too. Oh, it's way longer than that. Yeah. Yeah. It has to it's be. way longer than that. Because to go to Australia, <laughs> it's like 48 hours or 24 hours or something like that. I don't know. Uh, CJ was just talking about it because he's going back to Australia for the army. Oh, okay. See, dope. now I'm seeing. Now I'm seeing. You have to like download a fucking app to do anything nowadays. And oh, I just, and then I just, after wanna, you download the app, you got to make an account. Right. Yeah. I just want to know. I just need a flight to New Zealand right now. Leaving from, we're going to go from Chicago because that's usually cheaper. You just drive to Chicago. Yeah. You go from O'Hare to New Zealand. Queenstown, New Zealand. Departure time, let's just say the 10th to the 17th. Calculating flights. Here we go. Here we go. It's loading. We are going to the Shire. Is going to Chicago now cheaper anymore? They're still fucking... Man, that's still pretty high. Yeah. That's early that's early ticket buys, too. Mm-hmm. That is super high still. Damn. I don't know. Maybe they don't want people to come. Maybe not. Or they want money. The airlines want money. Yeah, of course. You wanted me to see if Fort Wayne's cheaper, is that what you're asking? No, I was saying I was gonna say even going to Chicago is it cheaper with gas prices? Oh, I don't know. So I know, like my parents, they go to Arizona and they've done price checking on like everything. Like they used to, they would drive to Chicago sometimes, and then they drive to Indy, and they found that the Fort Wayne flight just for Arizona is cheaper. Oh well, I wouldn't. I was I, I would. W- yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't check. I but, was just saying. Yeah, uh, Fort Wayne doesn't even fly to New Zealand, so no, no, you'd have to do connecting flights. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, Indy though, Indy probably would. Let's see what Indy has. I bet it's the same. 
What What about uh, from uh, California? Like, if you just flew from California? I don't live in California. We could fly there. So I have to buy two flight tickets then? You're crazy. Uh, There's... It just keep saying, sorry, we have a problem on our end. Of oh, course you do. Yeah, because you live in Indy. Um, Indy's a fucking two hours. We're going to drive across the country <laughs> to then fly... Across the country. Across the <laughs> world? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, dude? two birds, one stone. <laughs> no. Um, so it's yeah, like four grand. Indy's like two hours, and it getting would... to Chicago is like two hours. It's about the same driving time. Right. Indy and Chicago are fine. I'm fine with driving to those places. Oh. You said California. Didn't hey, you? Yeah, you could fly to California. No, because then I'd have to, I might have to pay extra to do that. What do you mean? I mean if You're saying the ticket is cheaper to fly from California to New Zealand? It might be. Right. So then what's the ticket to fly from Chicago to California? It'd probably add up to be maybe around the same. Exactly. So why would you then just fly to straight from Chicago to New Zealand? Well, sometimes they don't have a flight for that day that you're trying to go. <sighs> well, then I ain't going. That seems like a lot of work. That and that's, seems... that's the whole thing about connecting flights. Connecting flights, yeah, I get that, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not paying for, you have to pay for two tickets for connecting flights. Usually it's all included in your ticket, isn't it? Yeah, for the Yeah, if you, right, like, plan it out, then they're like, okay, yeah. Connecting but they'll flights give you... different than buying a ticket to go to California to then buy another ticket. But yeah. if it's a connecting flight, I have no say in that. Yeah, okay. We're stopping in California. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go fucking to the worst state in the world. So, Okay. I guess. <laughs> but for $4,000, I ain't going nowhere. No, that's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. Like, uh, I could buy a car with that There's, mm -hmm. and then just drive to New Zealand. You could. You know? I buy a boat. I buy a boat and then I would sail to New Zealand. The seven seas. All seven of them. The pussy. I'd hit all of them. Mm -hmm. I hit them. You hit them. And then I'd arrive there. I'd go to the Shire, which would cost me money probably. And then I would stay there. I would just tell them I'm staying here. And they'd be like, you, ca you can't stay here. This is like we do tours through here. And I'm like squatters rights, bitch. And then I run into one of the, I run into one of the little houses. houses. But then it turns in. Turns out that they just built the framing of the house. It's still just like some of them. To but, but some of them you can get in. Yeah, the one, I, the first one I run to is like the framed house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> and they're like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, <laughs> they're like, "That's that's not a door. That's not a real door." And then I'm like, "It's just it's a push. I just know it's a push." Now. I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Trust me, that's just framed for the movies." And then you're like, and "There's then a I, solid wall of brick behind that, and then a l layers of dirt and behind then I, the hill." I run around, look for a window, back out the fence. Yeah, I look for the window and look it through. They're like, "That's fake. That's literally like a piece of paper. It's fake. It's a fake image mm -hmm. to look as if it's open in there." And I'm like, "You're lying." And then you're like, hold on, let me take off my shoes. And then you super glued a bunch of pubes on the top of your feet to, you know, give uh, the impression yeah, that like, you're a hobbit. They're like, Whoa. They're like, Ugh. <laughs> and then I and then I run and I jump over the fence, and I run over to the other one. And I'm like, they're like, they're all like that. You're There's only one, one and it's yeah. down. It's way at the end. You you're doing this at the beginning of the tour. <laughs> 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 We're not even at the end of the tour yet. You you look like a fool. <laughs> Do you think they have a restaurant there that's you know, far, farmer maggots, whatever his name is, uh, farm. Okay, so I would hope that would be cool, right? That would be cool. But I would hope that they would keep the place as least touristy as possible. But you know that's not true. And uh, it's I'm sure because it, it's just the. I thought it was just the one guy they bought the land from, or is used it? the land from, and he's just been. You're telling me there's one family out there that just owned that land with the Shire on it? I thought so. It's probably from the last I heard, but that was several years ago. I mean, it might be different now. Oh, my God. Why am I not that man? <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't live in New Zealand. 
I didn't get to pick the cards I was dealt, Derek, okay? I don't get to choose that. I don't get to choose the hand. All you get to do is play the game. With yeah, the cards let me you tell have. you, the game sucks. I want to live in the Shire, dude. Just imagine it. You wake up, you wake up whenever you want. You're like, you every Hobbit wakes up like that again. <laughs> yeah, they have bad dreams. You can't, it can't all be perfect. <laughs> but yeah, because there's an evil ring lurk, lurking like, around there. <sighs> I'm going fishing today. Mm-hmm. That's what they do. They and we get find up. a ring. We strangle each other for it. You know. Yeah. What is that? It's mine. It's. It's my birthday. But it's my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. Did you know it's my birthday? He's like, get the fuck off me, He's dude. Like, I found. <laughs> dude, when I'd be I like, when, what are you doing? When dude? I watched that first as a kid, that terrified. Oh, it was me. Yeah, it was awfully and scary. Then, if I ever watched it again, I would either fast forward or just like not even look until I got a little <laughs> bit older. Because I was like, man, this like that guy freaked me out. And then the whole like you're like watching this guy's life drain from him from being strangled. And you you know the dun, 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 dun. it's awesome. I'm like, oh my god, it's such a good scene. Yeah, it's so it's good. a it's a very important scene. But um, no, I'd be like, dude. Do you want it? It's just a fucking it's ring. It's a fucking ring. That's the kind of hobbit I'd be. <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> dude, fine. God. Back to fishing. <laughs> It'd be that easy, right? Yeah. Obviously, we know that the ring doesn't really allow you to do that, even as a halfling. They do have more control over it, though, than the human scum. Yeah, I mean, Smeagol didn't. He was pretty much, like, infected with it right away, but he was kind of a weaker guy. Yeah, he was a pussy. Mm-hmm. He was a little pussy hobbit with one friend Did you know that he if, killed. You know, it's my birthday. I'm like, dude, yeah, that's why we're fishing. Yeah, I, I brought you on your uh, our fishing trip for your birthday. Could you please? That's, like, the fourth time you've said it today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this at the end of my, you know... Fisher, my my fishing hook, so it's a little bit shiny. The fish will investigate it. If you if you tell me one no, more, if you tell me one more time it's your birthday, we're definitely not smoking together when we get back. I'm not giving you any of my weed. Yeah, I had like a I'm whole. Not, I'm not gift going on another you. fishing trip for you. I had a whole <laughs> gift for you, okay, and it was sick. But you keep you keep getting close to me in the boat. The boat's huge, dude. We're tiny, and we have a big boat. And you keep coming over here. I'm not going to give you my it's just, Dude, Your it's gift. just like last weekend when I found that silver dollar in the river and you're like, <laughs> you're like, I, I had sex for the first time. And I'm like, I don't care. I yeah, found this. I don't, and that, that, you don't get a reward for that. <laughs> yeah. That's my precious. That's what you said last time. Yeah. And let me tell you, you lost it before we even got back to the freaking Shire. Yeah, but it wasn't my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I spent it. You know what? I'm done. I'm rolling up to the shore. <laughs> You know, and then I, and then I just leave the ring. Like, you can have, <laughs> you're gonna it, have dude. It. I'm done. But with you're it. gonna go get it, and he throws it in the river. Yeah, right? and then he jumps out. <laughs> Fucking chokes you to death for throwing it. Back That's in like, the river. I'm not. You're gonna come back for it later. No, I'm not. I'm done. I'm out of here, dude. I'd be a killer. I'd be a killer hobbit. What? I'd be a killer hobbit. So like Smeagol? No, he was a hobbit that killed. I see. Uh, he was a hobbit killer. I'm going to be a killer hobbit. So I'd be good at it. I'd be good at it, dude. No shoes. Finding rings in the river? I stay away from the rivers. Realistically, if I was a hobbit, well, then how are you I, would, I would probably just eat a lot. I'd be, be a fat hobbit. A little fatty, dude. Like Sam. What's the difference now? I'm not as small. Derek's like, mm, I'm going to look up to see how high hobbits are. No, we're just running out of time. <laughs> hobbits are, aren't they smaller than dwarves? Yeah, they're smaller. Halflings are smaller than dwarves. Mm-hmm. How, dude, it'd be so easy, bro. I'd be like chilling outside. I'm packing my little pipe, mm-hmm. you know? And I'm like... That's it. That's, <laughs> it. That's all they do. I mean, I'd be chilling, you know? Mm. 
And then like the neighbors would be walking by and I'd be like, chilling dude mm-hmm. oh did you hear oh what uh stanley's horses got out i'm like oh really i told him to tie him down <laughs> that's it dude yeah i'd be living the dream <laughs> his ponies got loose they didn't use horses his yep, ponies got ponies. loose mm-hmm. <sighs> what'd i tell him didn't i tell him to tie him down and they'll be like you did you did tell, and then they'd be like, "Did you hear they got pints down at the down pints, at the prancing the pony, pony now?" And I'm like, "They have pints. They have pints. <laughs> <laughs> Run inside. I'm packing a bag, dude. We're going on an adventure just to the prancing pony. Mm-hmm. Not any further. I ain't going to freaking Mordor or any of that dumb shit. You know, if Gandalf came, if my what was it? His uncle was it? Was it that? Was it Frodo's uncle or was that his grandpa?" Who, Bilbo? Yeah. No, it was like his uncle of some sort. They were like related yeah, in that way. His, it wasn't I think like it was his uncle. If my uncle ever gave me a mysterious ring, bro, I'd be like, I don't want this, bro. This I'm is, living the perfect life this right is now. Cursed. I'm living the perfect life, and you just snapped at me like you're a monster. I don't want that. <laughs> I don't need that energy, <laughs> dude. <laughs> I'll take the house, though, if you're leaving. This is a pretty yeah. nice pad. Where did he live prior to getting Bilbo's house? Did he live there with Bilbo? No, I don't think he did. Do we know this? Was he sleeping on Sam's couch? He was sleeping on Sam's couch, but Sam called him Master Frodo? I don't think so. No. Why did Sam call him Master Frodo? Well, I think in the books it was a little bit weirder. He just called him Master. Yeah, but Why? His employer, because you know, he employers. Would... I thought they were just pals, man. They are, but Sam. Technically, their employer was fucking. Um, what's his name? Yeah. The elf dude. Technically. Yeah, but before oh, the yeah, before the fellowship was created. Before the fellowship, he was going around doing everybody's gardens. Sam. Yeah. Oh yeah, he was a gardener, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. So that means Frodo did have a house then. So Frodo's rich. Yeah. He's got two houses. I mean, his uncle was kind of rich after the whole smog thing. Yeah. That's for all you Lord of the Rings fans. Mitchell, you're not allowed to listen to this episode because you're a fucking loser and you've never <laughs> seen a single Lord of the Rings you're be like, I'm, I don't understand anything you guys are saying in this episode. I just don't get it. What is a hobbit? What's the prancing pony? What's this Smeagol guy you guys keep talking about? What's the ring? Well, Mitchell, let's just say if you are Lord of the Rings character, you would definitely be Smeagol. Yeah, pretty close. If he was a Lord of the Rings character, he'd either be a he'd ever either be Gollum or he'd be um hmm What's that? That one Yurikai that got shot by the arrow right at the beginning of the fight because the old man slipped on the arrow? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be that. The He'd unnamed, be... the probably one of the most famous Urukai yeah, in all ever. Lord of the Rings. Yeah, but died right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, before the battle started. For the first death, that first, would, first kill. That'd be him. That's a feat that that guy can hold on forever. He's like, yeah, that battle, I killed the first I got one. first blood. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, but you're the reason they like full-fledged. I, I mean, they were going to. They were going to. Yeah, right. he'd be like, well, they're, dude. You don't think they were just standing out there for a little bit? You don't think they were going to attack us? Yeah, they, they could have, you know, let them chant a little bit God. longer. Everyone had a little bit longer to live. So what, like, five, like pe- five people got out of that? He's like, bro, it was raining. You know how hard it is you to know, hold my a hand was freaking bow? I'm like 92 years old. Freaking, we have all these kids running around, and they keep freaking putting honey on the bows. Yeah, they keep all these little kids running around with the armor that doesn't fit them, clinking and clanking around. It got distracting. Did they grease these strings? Did they grease my arrows? <laughs> the water, the rain got all the, the washed the grease off. You know? Mm-hmm. Man, what a fucking good, what a bunch of You know, uh, guys. you know the guy that didn't have the eye? Yeah. Uh, you know, he, I think he was like a, uh, film crewman, but Peter Jackson liked that he didn't have an eye, so he wanted him to be like, 
in that spot for a little bit to uh, just kind of ca- capture that. Just kind of add to it. Yeah. Yeah, he was. He's a good. Uh, he knew what he was doing, man. Those were good movies. Uh, Academy Award winning movies, may I add. And there are some other movies that everybody's like, they're way better that don't have any Academy Awards. Not even nominations. Do we know who what movies those are? I know what ones you're talking about. Mm-hmm. Harry Potter and oh. the episode. That-